Welcome to Winging It. We're playing Arkham Horror the Card Game today. Uh, this is Waking Nightmare, the first scenario of the second campaign uh, in the Dream Eaters camp cycle, <laughs> uh, which is confusing, but there are actually two different interlocking uh, campaigns in the Dream Eater cycle. There is um, this dream quest where you have, uh, we have in this campaign, we have uh, Luke and Tommy who are going off and doing dream stuff. And then you've got um, the waking quest, which is going to be uh, Tony and Mandy as they are uh, staying out of the dreams, trying to make sure that uh, their dreaming companions are, uh, are safe. And I have already done the dream side or the, the first uh, dream side uh, scenario. This is uh, the, the first waking one and uh, it's called a waking nightmare. And this, the story thus far is that uh, Tommy and uh, Luke, while they're dreaming, uh, Tony and Mandy got worried about them, took them to the hospital, and then crazy stuff started happening. Um, there was a doctor, uh, and we had the option to either take the doctor with us or to leave her to protect our waking friends, our sleeping friends. Uh, so we went ahead and did that. Um, if you want to look at my decks and how I built them, there is a link uh, below that you can click on. And I go through a description of each investigator and each card and, and how they work um, and uh, wh and how I built the decks and what I'm taking. So without further ado, let's get to the action and I will draw up opening hands. So this is to to uh, Tony. We are looking for clue tech and we are looking for uh, we're looking for weapons, kind of our most important thing here. So uh, we have gotten, well, we'll get rid of his weakness here. Um, sleight of hand would be good if we had a weapon, but we don't. Let's see, we get to replace that immediately. We definitely don't need dynamite blast. Intel report will keep because it's some clue tech. Um, watch this. Interesting. What test are we going to be taking? I don't think so. I'm going to throw away all these cards and try to get a weapon. So, one, two, three. We got Leo, so that's good. And four. Okay, well, we got some. We got uh, a bunch of clue tech, which is good. Um, I will tell you, I have played this scenario a handful of times, and if you do not get ahead of the infection um, mechanic that happens in this scenario, I think it's brutal. It is really, really very hard. If you can get ahead of it, uh, it's a. Uh, I don't know it goes a lot easier. So the real name of the game is just getting a quick start out of the gate to get uh, past the infection and not be standing in the infected area. And then you can do pretty well and it feels like a normal scenario, but it feels brutal to me if, uh, <clears throat> if you don't get enough, if you don't uh, get out ahead. So uh, I am definitely investing heavily in that clue tech. All right, uh, so we're dry, drawing up five cards for Mandy. This is a 40 card deck. Um, I have played, uh, I, as I mentioned in the deck upgrade video, I have played 30 card Mandy before. This is the first time I've tried a 40 card deck. So, um, we definitely do not want, um, occult evidence. Um, we want some search tech having, I think I'm just gonna throw everything away. I'll keep the lucky. Lucky is just always a good card to have. So we'll draw four more cards. Here we go. Oh, standing revelation. I always draw those <laughs> three and four. Well, this is a really terrible hand, really terrible hand. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. We have no search tech in our, in our hand at all. So yeah, not happy with this. So what I think I want to do is I want to, I want to set myself up to do to, to investigate the records office with Mandy next turn and just kind of scoop up all the clues. So we will see. Meanwhile, let's take a look at the act and agenda. So the agenda is Halls of St. Mary's. A heavy, ominous feeling haunts you as you explore St. Mary's Hospital. Its halls are eerily dark and empty of everything but the occasional orderly making late night rounds. Lights flicker and shadows seem to dart from corner to corner. The hospital's maze of corridors has begun to take on an almost dreamlike haziness. 
You notice yet another spider crawling up your leg and brush it away, wondering what is causing them to appear so often. All right, that's a two doom threshold. Look at the act. Looking for answers. Something is wrong with your companions, and while medical science has come far, it can't account for what is happening to them. You've decided to take it upon yourself to figure out what is wrong and set things right. We're looking for eight clues. That's a lot of clues to get. And, uh, oh, I had this location already revealed, but uh, let's go look at it. It is the waiting room. Uh, it is a three shroud, two clue location. While waiting room is not infested, it gains action resign. You flee the hospital, leaving your companions behind. All right, so there are two clues there. Um, I want to set myself up for being able to do the 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 um the rewards records office. If I take investigate actions, I can just take investigate investigate. Inve I can do four investigate actions. You get an extra action if you're doing all the investigates. So like, I could get clues and then move, and maybe that's the way to go because I don't really have a lot of setup here. I think I'll go ahead and play this art student. At least she'll be a target for um. For uh, calling in favors, if I get it, and I will get a clue. This is not having search tech. It just feels so bad. Um, I think we'll go ahead and investigate. Going at a five v three up by two is pretty good. Okay, that is revealing a Tokyo's token. Okay. Okay, we are at uh, we were at two up, so we pass. Well, we didn't. We wouldn't have to do an infestation check anyway. Okay, for our last action, we will move into the records office, and this has uh, th three actions. If you are not engaged with an enemy. One at a time, take four basic investigate actions. So she can investigate this up by two, four times, and maybe clear all the clues. So that's uh, something worth sh shooting for anyway. All right, so Tony is going to take a resource and then spend six resources to play Leo DeLuca. I'm going to move in with Mandy so that if anything pops out, he can deal with it. And then I'll take a resource for my last action. Try to try to work off the effects of <laughs> that big uh, Leo play. But having extra actions is so good. All right, so uh, it's time for upkeep. Tony draws. Emergency cash, so there we go. We'll have extra resources. Mandy will draw a laboratory assistant. Okay, well, we could draw some cards with her, so that's pretty good. And uh, we'll get a resource. All right, one of two dune. Should move my dune tokens over here. And we're drawing counters. All right, uh, Tony with the rotting remains right off the top. Nothing he can do about that. He's gonna take it on the chin. Between two versus three. Feels like a rolling moment. All right, that is three horror right at the beginning. All right, we'll put one on Leo and take two for himself. All right, and then Mandy will get, okay, Whisper of Hypnos. It's a peril, choose a skill. With the remainder of the round, each investigator gets negative two to the chosen skill. 
All right, well, we're not going to do any, any evasion, so we'll pick agility. Okay, so Mandy is going to just go ahead and she's going to take the three action pay to do four investigate actions. So she's investigating up by two. Negative two, she gets a clue. Get up by two. Investigating up by two again. Elder sign. What's that do? Um, search the top three cards of your deck for a card. Need to draw it or commit it to this test. Okay. So we'll search, but we can do search the top six cards because that's what her effect does. So we'll top six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, or what her ability. We can add three cards. We're looking. Okay, well, we could take occult evidence, but we don't need to. But we will take Mr. Rook. I'm not taking occult evidence because we're going to get the clue anyway. So, yeah. So we got Mr. Rook. Actually, yeah. I, would, I wish I could get that Hawkeye folding camera, but I can't play it for this anyway, so. All right, well, at least now we will have a way to, do, to get searches done <laughs> with uh, Mr. Rook. All right, nice. And we got this clue. And we are going to investigate. Last action, up by two. Elder sign again. Well, okay. Top three cards. And, oh, shocking discovery, okay. So we fail the search. Let's see. And I guess this is all mid-test here that uh, this is happening, but I know you can't nest tests, so we'll see how it goes. But anyway, she draws an encounter card. That was nice to get that out, though. <clears throat> We're still going to get the clue, but we have to resolve this first. So she gets a rotting remains. There's the other rotting remains. Okay, she's going at 3v3. I don't think we want to commit anything to this. And we can just kill off the art student, because we're going to play Mr. Rook anyway. Minus one. Okay, so we take one horror, which we're going to put on the art student. Okay, that was the writing remains. And we got this clue. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go ahead and play Shortcut. And the reason I'm playing Shortcut is because... Uh, I know that area can become infected. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're going to shortcut. We'll let that area be the infected area so that we don't have to, uh, we don't have to take treacheries at an infected location. Okay, so that was her turn. And then we've got Tony. Whose the first action is going to be to play emergency cash with three resources. It's got four actions. Action, you know what? Uh, yeah, go action. He's going to draw a card actually. Okay, he gets followed. I'm going to risk drawing another card. Dynamite blast. Just looking for a weapon, and he's going to move into the waiting room. All right, so we got a handful of cards. Okay, upkeep. Tony will get take the initiative and a resource. He's up to six resources, so he'll be able to play his uh, intel report here pretty quickly. Mandy will get curiosity. And a 
resource. The uh, doom goes flips over. As you continue to explore the hospital, the oddities you have observed become more and more frequent. Thick, dark cobwebs now cover the corners of every room. Spiders crawl along the walls and the ceiling, emerging from seemingly nowhere and vanishing just as quickly. It's not just your imagination. An infestation of spiders has taken root within the hospital. And not just any spiders. They are larger than average, with long, jagged, barbed legs and great hairy abdomens. Perhaps even more worrying is the complete lack of hospital staff roaming the halls. Aside from several wary and frightened orderlies, you see no other staff members, not even nurses or doctors. Where has everyone gone? Shuffle the set-aside spiders encounter set and each uh, set-aside copy of Outbreak into the encounter deck along with the encounter discard file. All right, so our rotting remains that can kill Tony. Outbreak. Spiders. This all goes into the discard. Or into the entire deck. Okay, and then we have to um, resolve this infestation begin story card. So um, that just tells us there's a lot of information here. Um, but it tells us about making these infestation tests which we have to set up an infestation bag and then um, there's going to be one skull which when that happens you have to find a spider enemy there are uh, four tablets which just do nothing and then you have these um, cultists that make it grow and if it's the second cultist then uh, that you've drawn then you reshuffle or re bag so anyway here's my uh, bag it's just a bowl because <laughs> I don't have another bag to pull from um, but I promise I won't be looking. And then we have to make an infestation test at the end of every uh, mythos phase. So I guess that's on the um, this uh, agenda here. So we'll read that. A monstrous presence has infested St. Mary's. It lies inside the walls and watches you from all sides. In mere minutes, it is spun thick, sticky webbing throughout each of the rooms you visit. The lights are under uh, are either flickering or out across the hospital, and some with more advanced medical machinery is broken and covered in cobwebs. Four, at the end of the mythos phase, make an infestation test. Yeah, so that's it. And I forgot to say, we have to put um, uh, a damage marker to, to note that it's infested on location with most clues. There are no clues. This is why I didn't open up any other locations. So we're going to put it there in the records office. So that's there. The reason I don't want to be, there's a, there's a card that basically makes you make an infestation test and treats all of the tablets, which are normally blanks, as skulls spawning uh, spiders. And that can just really overwhelm me with enemies. So I don't want to be drawing cards when I am uh, at the, uh, when I'm at uh, infested locations. So we're just trying to get out ahead of it. All right. So anyway, now we have to uh, draw cards. So this is for Tony. He's going to get frozen in fear. Oh man, this is horrible. I don't know how we're going to beat this. Okay, well, at least we got Leo. Alright, and then... Okay, so Mandy has got this Glimpse of the Underworld. Put Glimpse of the Underworld into play in your threat area. When you would take damage and or horror, take one additional damage and or horror. <laughs> yeah. Discard a Glimpse of the Underworld, then take one damage and one horror. So, uh, you can... Just go ahead and take the damage right away, or you can risk it and uh, just actually doing more. So we will actually just, in the free trigger before the investigation phase, we will just go ahead and trigger that and get rid of our student. Okay, which, uh, because we're going to play Mr. Rook anyway. So I think what we want to do is to put down Mr. Rook. We're not, we can, we can pretty much just go with Abandon now that we've got Shocking Discovery out uh, and just try to, to, to get helpful things like uh, the camera out would be great. So um, Mandy's gonna go first. She'll spend three resources to play Mr. Rook and she will move into this location, the emergency room. So it is two shroud. 
two clues, victory point one. Um, while you're in the emergency room, each of your skill tests gets plus one difficulty for each card committed to it. So it's just better to be naturally up, which she is. She's at five or two, me too. So she's pretty good. Okay, there are two clues here. I did not, uh, I forgot to put uh, secrets on Rook. So we'll go ahead and tap him, okay? And uh, we'll take this off. I think we're gonna, we wanna look for the top nine cards and just draw two. Fill our hand up. Make curiosity helpful for a lot, which will be good for uh, helping Tony get rid of uh, Prison of Fear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so what have we got? Well, we could just grab, well, okay, we definitely want the Hawkeye folding camera. Uh, calling in favors, astounding revelation. Okay, we'll take astounding revelation. At this point, do I want to put another charge? Mr. Rook, I think we want, we might want resources. Yeah, we might want resources. I think we're good with Mr. Rook right now. You can always grab another. So we'll yeah, we'll just grab two resources. So we're at four resources. Okay. Neato. Um so we grab we're gonna grab the Hawkeye folding camera. Help get our willpower up. And let's see. Is Eureka something that we want? I think it is. We're calling in favors. We'll grab calling in favors so we have a way when Mr. Rook is gone to uh, to replace him. So. Okay, and then she's going to spend two resources for her last action to play the Hawkeye folding camera. Alright, so Tony is looking. Does he have anything that he can play? He can play his lucky cigarette case to get him. We're trying to beat uh, three willpower. Is it two? He could get to. Oh, we could commit the dynamite blast. Yeah. Man, this is difficult. Alright, I think he is going to. He'll move in. I'm going to spend two. Play the Lucky Cigarette Case. So we got it into play. And we'll commit the, uh, the Dynamite Blast. I may regret that. And Mandy will commit Curiosity. So that gets him three up. Minus one, okay. Hate to lose that dynamite blast, but being further than fear is rough. All right. So he was actually, what, he was at uh, two, three, four, four, yeah. He didn't do it by two, so. But I guess I wanted the lucky, lucky cigarette case more. <laughs> All right, let's do some upkeep. We get a card, okay, you get to watch this. Would have rather had that and a resource. And oh, hey, we get a deduction. Nice. And we're at three resources here. All right, we are at one of six doom. And we're drawing in counters. Okay, Dissonant Voices, we cannot play Assets or Events, which is unfortunate because I did want to play my Clue Tech, but it is what it is. And Mandy will get another Rotting Remains. Okay, well, we didn't hurt us too much last time. I don't really have anything I can pitch to this, so we, will, we can just put, we can put one of our Horror on Mr. Rook. We're going at 3 v 3 Minus one, okay. 
So we got one horror. We put on Mr. Rook. That's okay. Uh, I think we will save Mr. Rook for the next location. <clears throat> so we're still investigating at 5 B2. Oh, we forgot to do our infestation test. Always. Okay. I remember, we should have done two infestation tests. All right, so the first time, what we would have gotten is this. Tablet, which did nothing. Nice for a retcon. This time we would have gotten... A tablet for nothing. Okay. Whew! All right, let's see if I will remember. Okay, so we have to do this at the end of every Mythos phase. Gosh. Uh, it, at least, I don't think there's anything that would have uh, caused me to have to change what I did. Okay, so we're investigating 5v2, up by 3. Okay, 0. She gets a clue. You know, I wonder if we could get another Hawkeye folding camera out, actually. So we will. We're gonna we're gonna um, do Mr. Rook, and we're gonna look actually twelve cards. We're gonna try to get another Hawkeye folding camera. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. Let's see if we got through the gates here. We do not. Oh, we do. Okay. So through the gates would kill Truth from Fiction or Mr. Rook. We definitely don't want to kill that. So we'll let it kill Truth from Fiction. So this gets removed from the game. And our other truth from fiction gets removed from the game. Okay. All right, so we get to pull one of these cards. We can do these hunting revelation and we can put another charge on uh, Rook, which we will do since we just lost our other way of doing that. Correct case for extra monies. Hmm. Do we need money? Well, I want him with the Hawkeye folding camera. I guess we'll take correct the case. Okay. We will investigate again. That's our second action. We're at 3v2. Minus 3. That is a pass. And that means we get uh, on the Hawkeye folding camera, which boosts her willpower, wall supply, crack the case. And I think we'll give. How much? How expensive things do we need? I think we're okay. We'll uh, we'll take a resource and we'll get Tony a resource. Okay, and then we will move into the experimental ward. Okay, it's a four shroud, four clue location. When you investigate experimental therapy ward, takes uh, you can take one horror, uh, and it gets negative two shroud. This investigation gets victory point two. So we got to get four clues off of this location. We actually have enough to advance already. Is there any reason? Do I have a better plan? We're okay. So we'll go ahead uh, and advance the act. So we're spending our clues one. Okay. From the hospital records and snippets of hushed conversation, you are able to glean that there was a recently another patient in the hospital 
His condition closely mirrored that of your friend's. After being comatose for weeks, the patient abruptly and inexplicably awakened just this morning. Baffled, the doctors have quarantined the patient somewhere in the basement of the hospital, below the eastern ward. Put the set-aside stairwell and basement door locations into play. Check the current agenda. If it's two or three, make an infestation check. Okay, so we are going to make an infestation check. Okay, we got another tablet. Game is easy when you just draw all those tablets, right? Okay, uh, so we need to put these other locations into play. So we've got the stairwell here. Oops. And then the three basement doors here. Seems all right. Okay, so we're in good shape. What is he going to, he being Tony going to do? Draw a card, three, four, five, six. We, we can't even put assets into play. Oh man, I mean we can investigate, but yeah. All right, so he'll move here. Dissonant voices. All right, we're gonna draw a card. Contraband. Let's see, could we investigate? We we could investigate. Not really. I guess I will just take two more resources because there's no point in moving out of here. And I have all the stuff I want to play, but it'll be expensive, so. I guess the resources won't hurt. All right, uh, upkeep, we'll draw a card. We get steadfast. Well, that'll at least help with those pesky writing remains. We're at nine resources to be ridiculous. And another deduction It's good for Mandy and a resource. Both pretty flush. We're at 206 doom. And we're drawing an encounter card for Tony. Gets the uh, Suspicious Orderly. Uh, while Suspicious Orderly is engaged with you, uh, you cannot investigate, you can't attack him or deal him damage, so he's fine. Um, you cannot investigate, but you can get direct clues. This has gone away. So he can play his things like Scene of the Crime and uh, Intel Report to get clues, so that's nice. All right, Mandy will get Night Terrors. Into, put Night Tears under your thre threat area. After you fail a skill test, reveal the top three cards of your deck. Draw each weakness revealed this way and remove the other cards from the game. Okay, if it's in your threat area, test poor willpower. After this test ends, discard Night Tears. Okay, so we can get rid of this if we want, if we care. Kind of care, because there's cards that I haven't gotten yet. We really want to get uh, some fine clothes out. Okay, so... Uh, Tony will go first because he's got, uh, he's got, he's going to spend uh, two resources to play uh, scene of the crime, and there is a uh, there's an enemy at our location, so we get two clues, so I don't have to mess with this at all. This high shroud location, so we get two clues. Oh, we didn't do our infestation test, so let's do that. Oh my goodness, will I ever remember to do an infestation test? Okay, we get another tablet. Wow. May not be making the best video, honestly. Like, if things, are, things go too well, nobody wants to watch. All right, we will spend uh, four resources. Bring us back down to three on Intel Report, which gets us last two clues. That's nice. Then we will um, move into the stairwell. Let's 
So the stairwell is a three shroud, two clue location. After you enter the stairwell from a non-basement location, uh, move to a basement location, then test for agility. If you fail, take two damage. After it becomes infested, make an infestation check. So it can very easily get infested away from here. Um, that uh, that trigger is a free as a is a choice. You don't have to do it where you enter the stairwell and you know, slide into another room. It's just a kind of you know agility cool m m m uh, cool agility thing. So uh, if if Tony had higher than two, I would. This is like the perfect test for watch this. You know, as he slides over the railing. But I'm not really that interested in doing this. So uh, we will just put the two clues on there. We can't investigate to get them, but maybe we can investigate. We can find uh, other other places. Other. <clears throat> Do we want to move though? I think. Or maybe we'll just grab a resource in case we get one of our, our yeah, let's grab a resource. We're fine. We can, uh, in case we get like our weapon, we still have this uh, uh, contraband, which would be nice if we had a lot of resources to double up a weapon. All right, so there we go. Night terrors. How big a deal is night terrors? I don't know. Okay, we are going to, uh, Mandy is going to, uh, well, she'll move. And then she will Mr. Rook. I guess we're gonna look at, what are we looking for? Oh, the last clue was gotten off there. So that, we put a uh, charge on the Hawkeye folding camera, which will give her uh, an extra intellect. So she's now at respectable uh, six and four. So yeah, we'll look, uh, is there, I'm looking for fine clothes. So I'm gonna go 12 deep, looking for fine clothes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The reason I want to find clothes is uh, because uh, Randolph Carter. When we find him, we want to be able to parlay him, and find clothes will help. Okay, there it is. Find clothes. That's what I'm. That's what I came here for. So I'll grab it. Let's see. Did I get a uh, an astounding revelation? They may all be gone. I don't even remember. I have to look at my discard. Trying to decide if I want to do this Night Terrors thing. I'm I actually have most of the cards that I really want to play. So you know, removing cards from my deck isn't like a huge deal. So I think I will I don't need to, to do the fine clothes yet. But uh I will just well so I can deduction to get those two clues, but hmm. Do we care that much? I don't know. I just want to get fine clothes into play. So I'm just going to spend a resource and put fine clothes into play. And uh, yeah, this Night Terrors just might decimate my deck. We'll see. All right. So upkeep. Okay, Tony's Quarry uh, is going to spawn on the opposite side of the map. Yeah, with a Doom on it. And a, and a... So, I mean, basically, that's just going to be Ancient Evils because I'm not going to go mess with that. It's not without a weapon, I'm not. And it gets a, uh, gets a bounty on it. That's way, I mean, I can probably make up a whole round of actions without going there. So, at least that's my thinking right now. Mandy will draw, she gets a Eureka, nice. And a resource. Okay. So we are at four of six doom because of uh, Tony's quarry. And we will draw. Sickening web. We have to attach to a location. Each spider enemy in attached location gains retaliate and alert. Investigators cannot move out of attached location. Test three fight or three agility. If you succeed, discard sickening webs. Okay, so that's here. And then Mandy will get. Outbreak, perform an infestation test. If you are in an infested location, treat each uh, tablet as if it was a skull token. Okay, well, that's why I didn't want to be in an infestation, but it doesn't matter because I don't think there are, yeah, there's no more tablets anyway, so, yeah. All right, 
So we get, okay, that simply causes the, uh, the infestation to spread there. And then we, now it's the end. I'm remembering this time, right? We've got to do another one. So here's our, here's our other one. Okay, so it spreads and all the tokens go back in. So we will spread it to the experimental therapies ward. All right, so now the uh, elder things are worth negative three, so that's definitely a thing. So Tony is going to want to, um, he's gonna wanna beat this test, the uh, fight test. So he will, um, He will uh, investigate, or he's gonna. Uh, he's going at five v three. He'll put watch this. Do I want to use take the initiative? I don't think so. Does Mandy have a wild icon she can throw at this? I just want to. I want watch this to be successful. She doesn't have anything she can do this. Do I want to put three resources on this? Hmm. Okay. Before I do this, actually. I'm gonna draw for a card. I'm gonna draw. He gets a contraband. That's action one. Action two, he's gonna draw. He gets a steadfast. Hmm. All right, we'll just uh, commit steadfast and uh, watch this with three resources on it. So he's at five, six, seven, eight, nine versus three. Minus two, uh, so he gets, doubles the resources on, watch this, and he gets to exhaust Lucky's Area Case and draw a card, which is a vicious blow. Okay, and that thing is gone. And I think he's gonna move into a location so we can kind of try to figure out if we can figure out where Randall Carter is. So he'll go in here, basement this is, uh, the morgue, you can test three willpower. If you succeed, discover one clue at this location. If you fail, take one horror. So with two victory points. Force, after the last remaining clue is discovered from the morgue, make an infestation test. All right, so. I don't think we want to go in there yet. Yeah, Mandy does need some clues, actually, before she is going to deal stuff with Randall. So, uh, Mandy, I think we'll go ahead. Is there anything we'd want for Mr. Rook right now? A Hawkeye folding camera, yes, would be kind of cool. So, will Mr. Rook. And we will get, oh, uh, we'll look. 12 deep, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 deep. And let's see what we got here. Okay, we will take the cold evidence to discover a clue. And we'll grab the Hawkeye folding camera. We are going to spend two resources to put down our other Hawkeye folding camera. Two of those. So we have not taken everything in one action so far. We will investigate. And we are at 6v3 because of the Hawkeye folding camera. We're beating the Elder Thing, so that's kind of my metric here, 6v3. Minus four, so we failed, but we can lucky this, which I'm inclined to, no, we can't, yes, we can, which I'm inclined to do, just to keep this thing from going off and to just keep our, keep our tempo up. So we get this uh, clue and 
we put a charger, two, a charger on each of the off eye folding cameras, which now makes her willpower really strong. Okay, um, so that was action two. And then action three, I guess, will come into the morgue. Might as well get those two clues. I mean, do we get them now or do we get them later? We can, if we get Randall, no, then uh, Tony could go up and start plugging up this stuff. I think we'll just try a different location. Okay, so we will do this. Yeah, this is the, the private room. So you can test two willpower. Uh, it's a parlay, test two willpower. Uh, and then you have to put two clues as a group. So you test two willpower, two intellect, and put two clues. It's been two clues as a group, which she has. Uh, and uh, you get to Randall Carter, which is why I'm just not too worried about getting another Mr. Hook because... Uh, Randall Randall Carter is going to replace him. So anyway, we're here. We don't have to, we don't have enough uh, time to do the parlay checks, but all right. So that is her turn. It's time for upkeep, and we'll get another Leo. Mandy will draw, winging it. Could be useful. Except we got deductions, so. All right. We're at five of six doom. And <laughs> Tony still doesn't have a weapon. I don't know what's up with that. Okay. He gets a spider uh, of wing to uh, three four three. When uh, the enemy phase ends, add one swarm card to each swarm spider enemy in play. Search the encounter deck and discard pile for uh, a swarm. Uh, a swarm of enemy spiders enemy and spawn at a spider of wings location with no swarm cards. Okay, cool. So that's and he will put a bounty on it. <clears throat> And then we get sickening webs. Oh, that's bad for uh, for Mandy. So she's not going to be able to leave this location unless she can beat a fight or agility test. Well, she's got Eureka, which would get her to four v three, and then she can commit calling in favors by loyalty. Hmm. That is unfortunate. Well, there's no way Tony without a weapon. Well, actually, he has vicious blows, doesn't he? So he could come in there and do that test if he. Uh... Yes, he does. Okay, cool. Well, I'll have Tony go first. So because his uh, spider of wing has a bounty, he gets a free attack against it. So he's going to punch him. He's going at five, and he will commit. Two vicious blows to be five, six, seven, be three. So we'll be we're up by four. All right. So this will do three damage. That is reveal another token. As minus the number of infested locations, which is three. But I just realized we forgot to do an infestation check. So we will do another infestation check before we do anything else. Okay. It is, in fact, a tablet. So, okay. So let's finish resolving this. Um, did I pull the token for the fish? I don't remember. So we'll go ahead and just do it again. No, oh, we got the we got the uh, yeah elder thing, which is negative three. So we do not succeed because we were at five, six, seven, and we got minus four. So we just barely succeeded. So we don't get to draw something from lucky cigarette case. So we will, uh, but that does three damage to the spider. Okay, so now 
we will just punch him. We want to be... Uh, do I want to commit take the initiative? I kind of do. Worth it, worth two icons. Actually, yeah. So it's, it, 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 so we're at seven. Fine, seven. The three does the last damage on this guy. Because we're taking an action, so it's only with two icons. Okay, reveal another token. I feel like we just did this. Okay, minus, uh, we are engaged with a staff enemy, so it's negative three, but we still did enough. He is dead. We get a resource from the bounty. And we still have three actions left because we had our free attack, then we did our first video, and then now we have this regular action, so we'll move one. Or right, this is second action. Second action, third action, and then we will test uh, the sickening web. I guess, I hate to commit steadfast to this, but we gotta get this done. Well, we're two up. Ah, no, I'm gonna commit steadfast. I don't remember what I drew. Probably could have drawn a uh, monkey cigarette case, but anyway, okay. So we're at uh, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, uh, minus three. So we succeed by two, and we can draw a card. And we get a lucky cigarette case. And the sickening web is gone. Okay, so it is time. She will do this parlay. Uh, because she's got the fine clothes, which is why I had it, um, we reduce the intellect and the willpower check down to zero. So the only way she fails these is with the autofail, which I realize just tempts the autofail, toss the autofail, but here we go. Doing the intellect check, plus one, she passes, and doing the willpower check. Minus two. Okay, great. So we uh, gain Randolph Carter. So he gets uh, plus one willpower, plus one intellect. And uh, after a elder thing is revealed during a skill test at your location, exhaust him and draw two cards. Okay, so he is going to kick out Mr. Rook, but it's okay. And now we have to add, we have to advance the act. After some persuading, you manage to convince the blonde-haired man to listen to your story. Once you explain to him what has happened to your companions, he shakes his head in a solemn understanding. I knew this Virgil fellow would cause trouble. If only I had convinced him not to write that story. You ask him what he means, and he lets out a long sigh before elaborating. It's all true. All of it. The dreamlands is real. I believe that something is causing it to merge with the waking world. That's where all of this is coming from, he explains, motioning to the spider web in the corners of the room. With your help, I may be able to temporarily stop the infestation from spreading. Then we can investigate this matter further. He rises from his cot and shakes your hand. My name is Randolph, by the way. Randolph Carter. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Okay. So we'll do that. All right, uh, so what was our first action? We have to read the new act. Containing the outbreak. With the aid of Randolph Carter, you must attempt to close the rifts that have opened between dreamlands and the waking world. Each infested location gains. Test willpower X to seal, attempt to seal the rift. X is the location uh, the location shroud. Investigators of this location may spend two clues as a group to automatically succeed. If you succeed, replace the damage token on this location with a horror token. For the remainder of the game, the locations cannot become infected. There's no infested location to play advance. So, we're trying to cure all these infested locations. 
So we have two actions left. I think we're going to go into the morgue and then we can go into the basement. And Tony has enough clues. He can go around and start clearing things up. So yeah, she'll go action one and action two. So her willpower right now is actually really high. She's at three, four, five, and six. So that's not too bad. All right. So that is the end of that. Tony will draw. Maybe a weapon? Nope, emergency cash. Where are all his weapons? This is pretty ridiculous, actually. Mandy. Should have played a no stone unturned on him. If only Eureka could have helped with the part, you know, the uh, had a fight icon. Okay. So we are, uh, we're advancing. Thanks to Tony's quarry. Tony, what are you doing? All right. All right. Suddenly, chaos breaks out in the hospital. The sound of chittering and crashing emerges from the walls. In the darkness, you can barely make out the shapes of bizarre spider-like creatures scurrying in the distance. As you're out a corner, you spot an orderly writhing on the polished floor, convulsing violently as though possessed by an inside force. You rush to his side and flip him onto his back and find that nearly all of his face is covered in thick webbing and his eyes are wide and glazed over. He does not react as you shake him. So find each suspicious orderly enemy in play and replace it with a set-aside corrupted orderly enemy. It keeps the game state all tokens and all attachments. And then we're going to search the encounter deck and discard pile for each copy of suspicious orderly and remove it from the game. And then we're going to shuffle the set-aside agents of Achlak Nakka encounter set. Each remaining set aside corrupt orderly enemy and the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. And then we're going to add a cultist and a <clears throat> uh, skull into the uh, infestation bag. Okay, so uh, we got to find. So this suspicious orderly goes away. He gets corrupted orderly. We'll look at him with his webbing coming out of his uh, mouth. Um, he's 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Uh, forced when corrupted orally deals one or more damage. Is dealt one or more damage while an infested location. Cancel one of that damage. So we will give him a bounty. And we, we have this other corrupted orderly. We will go and find the other suspicious orderly and take it out of the deck. So fortunately we're not at an infested location, so... Because otherwise we would have no way of defeating him as Tony because he doesn't have a weapon that can do multiple damage. But he can punch things just fine. Really, I have never had an issue running five weapons where I've gone this far without finding a weapon. It's pretty crazy. I think five weapons is enough. Alright, let's look at... Uh, The entire building has become uh, infested with a sensor evil, something that does not follow the laws of nature. You need to find some way to either stop it or to escape before it consumes you too. Force the end of the mythos phase, make an infestation check, if we remember. Each spider enemy at an infestation location gets plus one fight and plus one evade. All right. So let's draw some encounter cards. Tony will get Will the Spider Web. It says three willpower. If there's a spider enemy at a location, you cannot commit cards to skill test. If you fail, you cannot attack or investigate until the until the end of the round. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that is horrible. And I can't commit anything to this, so I'm going at 2v3. And I'm just gonna have to deal with this uh, corrupt orderly just shutting me down. That is rough. 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 Okay. We're going at 2v3. Okay. Minus one. We fail. So we cannot attack this guy. All we can do is try to evade him. Alright. And then 
We have Mandy. We'll get a glimpse of the underworld. Okay. So we will just go ahead and discard that. <laughs> Giving Randolph... Oh, we'll actually get rid of our fine clothes because we don't need it. And we got to do the infestation check. Okay. With the new improved infestation bowl. All right. We get that, which causes us to... Cause it to spread, right? Yeah. So we will spread... To here. So now, is it possible to evade... Sky, we can only commit followed. What about Yeah, she can't get there. Help. Five, six, seven, eight. She could investigate and then move to get there. And give him one agility, but that would just get him to two three no good. It's part of me that wants to move up with Mandy to just plug up this so it can't spread anymore. Do I want to waste a whole turn doing that? On the other hand, Tony could do it and she could evade this corrupt orderly eventually. I'll just do a damage and horror where she can take. All right, that actually kind of makes sense. All right, Mandy will move and move and then engage this corrupted order. Right? And then Tony will move and move, and he will do the willpower test, but he will spend two clues to automatically succeed it. And that plugs this from ever spreading again. So that was move, move, do the thing, and then we'll move into the waiting room. Or no, we'll just stay there in non-infected area. Do we risk drawing a card? I think we risk drawing a card. Yeah, um, we will move back so we potentially get to get the Corrupted Orderly next turn. Okay, yep, makes sense. A lot of work, just to make sure. Okay, so uh, Corrupted Orderly does a damage and horror, which we will put on a Randolph Carter. Tony will get sleight of hand. If we had a weapon to sleight of hand out, that might be nice. And get 12 resources. Okay, we have a laboratory assistant. So we definitely need to throw away some very comps here. We will uh, get rid of winging it because that's just better in our discard pile. All right, you're at uh, one of eight doom. We have dragon counter cards. Tony will get sickening webs. Okay, so that's gonna be attached to his location, and I can't move out of there. And oh, we get another corrupted orderly on, and we'll go ahead and put a bounty on this one. Okay, so. Tony is going to break these webs. He's up by two. Zero. Okay, they're gone. Second action, he moves in. How many actions do we have? We have two more actions. Okay, he'll take a free fight against this corrupted orderly. He's going at 5v2. Okay, 
Okay, that is minus one because we're not engaged. So he takes the damage. Okay, we're gonna take, so we've taken, uh, we have two more actions left. He'll fight the Corrupted Orderly again. Up by three. Was that a minus one? I don't remember. Plus one. Okay, we can definitely tap through a like cigarette case. And we'll get to take the initiative. Nice. This guy is dead, and so he gets a resource from the bounty. I can use resources. And then he will, uh, the last action, he'll engage this guy. All right, Mandy, get some work done. <laughs> All right. So Mandy is going to move and move. Actually, I think she will move and she'll come into this basement door. This is a two shroud, two clue location, victory point two. Um, you can take a double action to choose an investigator location and test for intellect. If you succeed, heal three damage from that investigator. If you fail, deal one damage to that investigator. So it's like a better uh, medical text, I suppose. Two clues here. So she will investigate. She's at uh, five, six, seven. And we will commit deduction be at 8. So we are at 8v2. Seems strong. Elder sign. Okay, we can look at the top three cards or the top six cards of her deck since her ability. We haven't fired it. One, two, three, five, six. And we get to draw a card or commit it. Uh, we'll take a shortcut for sure. Shortcut is good. I was being too quick there with the camera. She got both of these clues. And then yeah, she'll play shortcut to get back here. Gotta get the victory points. All right, Tony takes a damage and a horror from the orderly, which puts him dangerous here. Dangerous place. He's at a... Uh, we'll put a damage on Leo. We could kill off Leo. And we, don't we have another Leo? Yeah, we do. All right. He will draw <laughs> internal injury. Are all the weapons in my... How many deck cards? I'm going to count. See how many cards I have left in my deck. I have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve cards in my deck. Five of them are weapons. All right. I don't really care much about the internal injury, but Mandy will draw another Eureka. Be good for this willpower test. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And then she gets a resource. All right, we're at uh, two of eight doom. Threads of reality. So you know, we have to attach uh, to a non-weakness asset you control with the highest printed cost. Okay. I treat an asset if it's traits or plots for blank except for trait. And then you take an action to discard an asset you control and you can discard that. So I don't know why there's that resource there. And uh, she gets another Night Terrors. <laughs> uh, okay. Did I make an infestation test at the beginning of last time? I guess I did. I hope I did. All right, we're making another infestation test. Okay, that is a skull, which is going to spawn an enemy. So we can pick which one. I don't really have a good way of fighting with a big enemy. 
So let's see what we got here. Spider enemy and spawn it. Thank you. So I am going to wimp out because <clears throat> I don't have a weapon and do a spawn of spiders. The infestation nearest all investigators, that's that. I wish, I wish that I could uh, spawn one of the XP enemies, but without a weapon, what can I do? All right. All right, I'm gonna have a, uh... oh, and that swarm enemy, we have to, we'll take, to Mandy's cards and put it under. She is. Oh wait, she's not the lead investigator. I mean, I've done this wrong. So probably <laughs> these are Leo's weapons right here. Spawned under that swarm enemy. Um, I think I'm gonna. Have, did I say Leo? Uh, Tony. All right, Tony is going to attack this uh, orderly. He gets his free attack action. He's at five v two. Minus one, so he succeeds by two or more. And so he can draw a card. Hey, a switchblade! Which, you know, is what it is. Okay. <laughs> it's of the weakest of all. If I'm going to get a weapon, <laughs> why that one? And anyway. All right, does damage. He's going to attack again. This is a normal action. Of my three, since Leo is turned off. Minus two, okay, he is dead. Okay, so we will take the take this action to discard Leo because he's an asset I control. So that was my this is my second action. I also get a resource for the killing the guy at the bounty. <clears throat> Third action, I will spend six resources to play a new Leo. And then I'm going to move up here. I could have actually played, you know, just sort of the Lucky Cigarette case for cheaper, but this gives me more of a horror soak. I'm really worried, although it might not be anything I can do against the Ryan Remains. Uh, and I'll go ahead and spend one resource in fast play the switchblade. It's not going to be that good against the Grey Weaver, but I can do two damage against a swarm of spiders, I suppose. All right, Mandy will move in to the morgue, and she will uh, investigate. She is at, uh, oh, actually, I would have gotten uh, on the Hawkeye pole on camera. When I did that, so her her intellect is now five, six, seven, eight, v five. We will commit uh, a deduction to be nine v five. Minus one, okay, and then we have to do an infestation check because. Uh, of that. So. All right, we get this, which causes it to spread, but it doesn't actually spread, and these come back in. Because there's no for it, for it to spread to. It has to be connected. So. We kind of got the infestation thing shut down. All right, we will move back to the stairwell, and then we will hopefully just take this thing home. Getting all our victory points. Famous last words. Okay, um, Tony will draw another sleight of hand. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's okay. Oh, and he took a uh, damage from internal injury, which I forgot about. Mandy will get another lucky. Pretty good if we want to take any tests. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
And she is at six resources. All right, and we'll draw a card. We get a locked door, attach location, most clues. Just put it down here. And then Mandy will get this glimpse of the underworld guy. All right. She will just go ahead and discard it, taking a damage and a horror. So we'll put the horror on Randall Carter, and she will take a damage. Okay. Tony can go in and kill the swarm of spiders, so at least it's not a thing. So I think we'll do that. Tony will go first. Oh, um, actually, I think, yeah, he doesn't care about the internal injury. That's fine. He'll move one. He'll move two. He'll engage the swarm of spiders. He will hit it with the switchblade, going at five V one. Minus one, we succeed. So we'll two of these, we get two of these back in our deck. We get this lucky cigarette case to draw a card. We get an evidence. Nice. Oh, except that we've already got all the clues. Okay. And then we'll swim one more with the switchblade. Swarm of spiders, zero, it's dead. And then we take another damage from the internal injury. He must have uh, messed with something nasty there. Okay, Mandy. Well, action one, she'll move. Action two, she'll do the test. Spending two clues to automatically pass it. Oh, wait. No. One, two, and she'll spend two clues to do the test automatically passing it. Nice. Okay. Okay, uh, upkeep. We get another evidence. A resource. So he's got two too many cards. We will get rid of uh, two evidences. I don't know what we would possibly use those for at this point. Mandy will draw. No stone turned. She could help him get his weapon now, for sure. If we want to stay in farm for the gray weavers. And she's got to drop a card. She will drop uh, an art student. Can't see that coming in useful. All right, we are at three of eight doom. Kind of want a gray weaver now. I, I take him on with a switchblade. Okay, instead we get Outbreak. We have to perform an infestation test. Okay. Well, this could spawn a Grey Weaver. Okay, we get that, which makes it spread. So. Does nothing, because there's no effort to spread to. And then Mandy will get uh, Rotting Remains. Okay, she doesn't care about this. She's actually... Is it three, four, five, six? Meet three. Okay, reveal another two chaos token. Minus two, she passes. All right, and then we got to do another uh, token outbreak. Another uh, test of uh, infection test, infestation. Okay, so we uh, we search and find an enemy, right? Yeah. For a spider enemy, and okay, so we can go ahead and get uh, a gray warden and go for victory points. Gray weaver. Great warden. Boy, what kind of... Uh, yeah. Okay, so we've spawned a Grey Weaver. Uh, yeah. When, while he's ready, each investigator at its location cannot take move actions. Okay. He's a 4-5-3. He's engaged, and we'll definitely put a bounty on him. Give us a free action. Okay. I 
I think Mandy is going to look first. She's going to come in and she will spend two actions to clear the internal injury off of Tony. All right. So, or do we want to get rid of the, no, we will not do that actually. We will uh, spend two resources taking the infestation test and turn and get rid of the this so that that makes it so uh, we don't the this gray weaver doesn't have uh, the plus one fight and the plus one evade yeah so it's only a four five three now so it's going to be a five okay so she's going to engage the gray weaver because yeah. <laughs> we need icons for um she need to find a weapon that's better than switchblade. Okay, so uh we he's um Tony's gonna draw a card. Okay, he gets Tony's thirty eight colt. Okay. He'll spend uh he doesn't need to spend anything. Um he will uh sleight of hand for one resource. Thirty-eight cold. Into his hand with three charges on it. All right. So we took our draw action and we slide of hand it fast. So we still got a good number of. So we're actually two up. I think we'll take our free engage action. Oh, wait, but the horror. Yeah, we can handle the horror, I guess. We're at five, six, seven. Yeah, Mandy can take it if we miss. Okay. It gets, uh, actually he gets uh, plus one for each bounty on the, oh, so we only put one bounty on it. <laughs> I should have thought to put two. Okay, so we're actually, we're only at two up. That's fine, we'll take a shot. Maybe we'll hit Mandy, but. Okay, so we're two up, shooting with the Colt. This is our free attack action. Minus one, that's two damage. Okay, now we're taking our second action. That's not the free action, so I guess it's our, th our third of five action. Taking a shot, up by two. Minus one, it takes two more damage. And we're gonna take our last shot. Oh, uh, number of festive locations is one. So yeah, it's dead into the victory display. Sweet. And he gets his bounty back. And he gets a resource. And the uh, Colt goes back into his hand. Okay, cool. Victory points. Yay. All right, upkeep. Oh, and he takes damage from the internal injury. Let me see. Did I, did I take all his actions? We drew. Then we fast played. Took the free attack. And then attack, attack. So we actually had one more action left. We'll uh, we'll spend. I'll spend. Uh, we'll just take an action to play emergency cash. Get it out of our hand. Might as well. Okay. Cool. So upkeep. He will draw a card, he gets a Derringer and a resource. And Mandy will get, I've got a plan. We could handle another Grey Weaver, except she doesn't have as many resources or as many clues as I would like for half of that. But, all right, well, get rid of the art student. All right, we don't have another art student. We have. 
Arbitrary assistant. Okay. We're at four of eight doom. Doing okay. Tony will draw. Okay. We're going to say evade. We're not going to evade on that one. So our evasion is going to be minus two. Mandy will draw. Frozen in fear. Okay. And then we'll do the infestation test. Forgot to take the uh, skull I drew out last time that uh, spawned the enemy. Okay, here we go. Infestation test. Tablet does nothing. Ah, oh, could have been nice to spawn another Grey Reaver. Okay, and then Tony will just take action, action, and he will spend two resources to automatically pass the test. And we will turn that. And we are successful. All right, so we can go ahead and read the back of the act. With the final rift sealed, the infestation ceases and the hospital returns to normal. Good work, Randolph says. Still, I believe this matter warrants further investigation. We do not know what caused this to happen. You remind him there's also the matter of your companions who still refuse to wake. Yes, of course, that too. Come, let us go somewhere private where we can discuss what our next steps should be. Sadly, I do not believe that there is anything more we can do to aid your friends here. You don't know if Randolph means here as in the hospital or here as in the waking world, but either way, it does not bode well for your companions. Um, and so the doctor uh, stated with her patients, so we're going to R3. Okay, well, uh, that uh, is the end of our scenario. We got uh, one victory point from him. We got two and two, so that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten victory points. So you know, as as expected in this campaign, you get about uh, two. You get uh, two scenarios worth. So ten victory points is pretty good. Scenario can get uh, we can get some upgrade switchblades for um, for Tony <laughs> all his weapons. Uh, where were they? Oh yeah, and of course one of those was the was the swarm was the Derringer. That was uh, that was a lot of fun. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, join us as we uh, continue on uh, with uh, Luke and Tommy uh, in uh, the search for Kadath. Actually, they may do the Hotel Excelsior in the Dreamlands first, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time on Winging It.